Hey everybody, this is Reefy Rod, and today we're going to be playing a game called Whispers Room 6. Uh, I just found it. It's supposed to be a horror point and click escape hard game, I guess. I don't know. If it's hard, that usually means I'm going to need to look up a walkthrough at some point. <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh, you suck, dude. You had your chance to kill him. Okay, uh. Let's keep going. What's going on here? Mr. Johnson. Uh, it's getting late, Tom. I <laughs> No, it was Mrs. Johnson. Just, okay. You know what? I can't read this that fast, so. Yeah, <laughs> slow down, Tom. Let's keep your eyes on the road. There, there is a road sign over there. We should check it out. Alright, I'll pull over. Uh, okay, road sign. It's covered with mud and dirt all over. I can't read it. I need something to clean it up with. Use your arm. Uh, <laughs> okay, a paintbrush. I was expecting like a towel or something. Yeah, I know it's covered in mud and dirt. You just gotta use this on it. Come on. Oh, I gotta actually do it. Okay. Motel, okay. I was like, what the heck? I didn't even do all that much. It just just followed the road you didn't need to do that <laughs> so this is the motel huh I bet you must uh, something uh, stop complaining already it's still better than sleeping in the car all right let's gasp did you see something just by the door just now nobody there honey maybe you're okay yes perhaps you're right come in um, we need to. Yeah, I can't read this fast, especially when everything is all jacked up. Auto save. Guess. I guess that means I could die. Come on, buddy. <coughs> what? Why do you have to jump out like that? What do you want? I want to rent a room, you idiot. Why else would I be here? <laughs> blah blah blah. Keys. Jeff. Hanston? I think it's just Kelly or something like that. Christy Hugh, Ethan Campbell, and Bianca? Weird. Uh, no sofa, a lamp, books. Let's go this way. Play with other people's doors, right? <laughs> Antique lamp. Okay. Yeah, I know it's locked. It's because we got the keys. We got these old rusty keys. Oh. Uh, okay, there we go. Grab one key, turn <laughs> clockwise, and release it, and open the door. Why would you give me this many keys? Okay, go on. Go in the hole. Go on. Just... Just go in the hole. <laughs> okay. That's not the right key. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can see why this game is considered hard now. Not because it's actually hard, it's because the controls suck. <laughs> okay. Codes. I think I saw one just now. What? Okay. I got Hey idiot. You didn't give me the code. Yeah, it's probably this. Um Maybe this one? Right here? I'm gonna guess. Uh, 24266. Two, six. This is still too many numbers. Okay, 24266. Two, six. Got it. Yeah, I know it's locked. We've already established that. Yeah. Uh, two. Whoops. Two. Four, two, I don't know. Apparently that's not it. Um, 
Six and six. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, sure, save my game, why not? <laughs> whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so the number has to be here somewhere. Yeah. Maybe this one. 804, maybe? I don't know. Oh, wait, I have to do this crap again? Okay, go on. <coughs> yeah, I know. Let's see if we just can't annoy him. <laughs> Or wait, is this the number? Whoops. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. Four, two, five. Okay, I don't know what what would be the point of doing that. Okay, I guess we're just gonna take all the shits off of all this crap. Oh, hey, there's a giant tarantula. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> a tarantula that was just photoshopped it. <laughs> Looked like something I would do. What the heck? You're so dirty. Can I just clean this up with my hand? You, you, you do this with your hand, but you're not doing the, the sign. Yep. Okay. What? I, I, I did it. Didn't I? Or is it just really particular? Come on, let me... I think the mirror's just all jacked up. All I'm seeing is green. Check out this action, yeah! Why is there a tree sticking through the window? I don't need to use the toilet right now. Yeah, but it won't let me... Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that sounded really insincere. <laughs> what was that? Maybe I'm just tired. Auto save complete. Okay. Yeah, tired of doing all this stupid crap. My wife and kids are gone. Uh, okay, this is just the bathroom again. Where are the keys? The keys are right here, you idiot. Oh, hey, look. The plant's moving. Mr. Plant, can you help me? Oh, hey, I got a piece of paper. I can't read what it says. Maybe. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm too busy right now. Oh, hey, I can go into these places now. I got some edge clippers. Oh, wait, let's go Let's go chop this, this thingy down. Hiya! Oh. It doesn't work that way. Never mind. Door is stuck. Need to use force. Use the hedge clippers on it. No. Warehouse. Yay. Hammer. And a piece of paper. Broom. Do I need a broom? Guess not. Beer bottles. Dirty rags. I could always use them to clean off stuff. Okay. Use the hammer on the door. <laughs> yeah. Bonk, 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 bonk. TV's on, maybe I'll get to see the ring or something. Front key. And a piece of paper. Hey, right, clock. Go to the garage. Should check the other. Why? Old painting. Oh man, it's one of these. Sorry, I did not do it on purpose. Okay. I don't know why that's there. Let's go in the garage then. Oh, hey, another, another thing. Oh, yeah, that just takes me back. Can I take the bucket? Wait, did that say... 
<laughs> I fear this bucket could hit me in the head. You're afraid of buckets. Got it. Okay, use this on that. No. Okay, use the chunk key on the car. Won't move it all. That's fine. I'm not interested in moving the car. I'm interested in opening the trunk, you idiot. There we go. Lug wrench. Jack. Ooh, I want these slippers. <laughs> they would go so perfect with my outfit. Yeah, okay. Yes. Pick on the car. Use the jack. Use the lug wrench. Somewhere. No. Or do I have to, like, do this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Wee, wee. No. Come on, turn. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Why am I turning them right? Okay, I'll just... Screw it. <laughs> there we go. Why did I do that? I guess to put a new tire on eventually. <laughs> Otherwise, I just took a guy's tire off for no reason. Yeah, screw you, old man. You can't have your lug wrench back. Yeah, can't go in the kitchen. Okay, now the tire's in the warehouse. I don't understand this game. So I guess put the new tire on there. Do I have to do this crap again? I do. Yeah, and then... Oh wait, I guess I am turning him to the right this way. Never mind. Come on. But did I turn him this way the other time? Okay, we got it. Old man's car. I can drive it. Yeah. <laughs> Later, family. I'm out of here. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I hit the girl from the ring. What did I hit behind the car? <laughs> you just saw it was a human. He can't be out there. Hey, why did you try? Fear this bucket could hit me in the head. Fear this bucket could hit me in the head. Why are you afraid of buckets? Is there anything else I can do? Can I take this and chop that down? No. Oh, hey, look, there's a, another note. Check the mirror again. Oh, <laughs> just my reflection. <laughs> Pretty lame. Give me the broom. I need a broom to knock down that bucket. Or the ladder. Or the ladder in the broom. Stop doing that, Twig. Yeah, nothing else here. Anybody here? No? Okay. It's a TV. Can't turn the light off. I sit on the couch. I can't go into the kitchen because the door is sealed tightly. Can do that. Oh, okay. Now I can use these to get rid of that. Of course. <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see anything. Uh, too bad. You can see a swing and you can see a tree. That's more than enough. Great light. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll just take this TV with me. Oh, there was a face on it. Oh yeah, look, it's the grudge. <laughs> hey, who's laughing at me? <laughs> Usually that happens behind my back. Pick up the phone, idiot. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I gotta find new fuses then. 
at it. Oh, I don't know the chainsaw is. Okay. And let's just keep going. Hey, look, it's the grudge lady. What's going on, girl? How you doing? You want to be... Oh, yeah, because that looks just like your daughter or wife or whoever that person is. Yeah, okay, I think you think it's your wife. All right. Of course, why don't you? <laughs> what the? That strange person wasn't my wife? Who'd have thunk? Hey buddy, what's up? I told you it was the grudge. <laughs> oh, there's the last fuse. Because of course. Uh, there we go. Hey, look, I'm here. <coughs> Holy sh... <laughs> You're freaking me out. Get out from behind my desk. Like, Shut up, old man. I took your car and ran over a girl. This is on you. <laughs> oh, hey, look. A crowbar now just magically appeared. Which means I could probably pry that stupid... This thing open. But first, let's bash the TV. No. No, do I have to... Come on, let me click it. Click it, click it, click it. Hey, go do with a crowbar. If I use it on this guy's car. Well, I found an umbrella. Can I go outside now? Oh, wait, it said it was heavily raining. Okay, let's take the umbrella. Oh, I need a flashlight or something, too, because this guy's a wuss. <laughs> yeah, I ran through the forest. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Well, I found half of a violin and a candlestick. Hey, look, I found some glasses. A leaf and a clock and a creepy doll and a screwdriver. I'll take that. No. I guess I get the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> I don't need batteries for it, do I? Get used to the. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Another piece of the thingy. Oh, hey, look, an axe. Sweet. Maybe I can use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, use the axe on the kitchen. What the heck? Okay. Gotta use the crowbar to remove the nails, it said. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how... Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, I guess just keep clicking around until something happens, because I don't know where the heck the pointer is on this crowbar. Okay. That took way too long. Oh, it gets a cup. Oh, hey, look. Jar, my antique jar. I don't care. <laughs> you must fix it. Uh, no. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna take your stuff and leave. Like, I took your little trowel and some glue and, uh, I guess those pieces of a. What happened to your vase? Did it just, like, explode? Cabinet will fall on the I'll use this on it. Um, oh, do we put them all together? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, crazy lady. Dip, dip. <laughs> Okay, we got some purple, or, yeah, some purple glue going on here. 
Don't worry, lady. This will look right as rain in just a little bit, okay? You'll be able to make anything out of it. Just, uh, I wouldn't recommend drinking out of it, because this glue says it's really toxic, so... Then again, you're already crazy, so... <laughs> I don't think it'll affect you all that much. But it's gonna look super sexy with this connect dot puzzle going on there. Just do 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 do. See, look at that. Yeah, see, look. It went all. It, it turned all good, you know. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here I can steal from you? No. Okay. Let's see, I still got this axe. Let me go axe this tree a question. Hey, ha uh, ha! No. I still can't. Okay. Yeah, nothing in here. What about the front room? Axe this door a question. Yeah. Use a shovel to dig out here? Because why not? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I pulled up the thing. Uh, the old sheets of paper, concealed sins and secrets, gathered dust through the years, anchored deep in the earth, lie beneath the aged tree, be the secret none should know, covered under the dark soil, be my tale none should study. Okay. So, dig underneath the tree. Got it. Let me dig underneath the tree, come on. Yeah, dig underneath that tree. I'm gonna find this person's secret. I'm gonna get the Necronomicon, or some cursed gold, or... Wait, what did I get? I got a book. An old diary. That's kinda lame. Whose voice was that? Uh, I don't know, dude, it could be yours. I've never heard your voice. Yeah. Uh... Okay, the little things are still moving. Um, I don't know. Just check all the rooms again, I guess. Yes, it's in my room. Who's in the room? Oh wow, it's you again. Dad, Daddy. Eh. Luna. I know you're creepy looking when you're this close. <laughs> Honey, are you alright? Hey, uh, what happened? You passed out. I passed out? I was looking for you. <laughs> Daddy, we were waiting for you in the other room. We didn't go anywhere. And was that woman <laughs> daring at Daddy? We must get out of here now. Um... I don't think it was a dream because I still have an axe and a book and I don't think I got him, you know, otherwise. We'll use the car to get out of here. Hey. Uh, okay. Oh no. There's a thing in the... Yeah. Yeah. Cut it. Out of the way. Okay, move it out of the way. Yeah, I don't I don't know what this is. Yeah, okay, I guess Okay, I don't know what I did, but it's something. Why are you in such a hurry, Tom? There's no time to explain. We almost get far away from that motel. Daddy, daddy, what is that book? Where did you get that book? Okay. Well, at least your daughter didn't die. I guess. Why did it have to get all sad and depressing? Quick, read from the Necronomicon he dug up. You can probably bring him back to life. 
They might they might be demons or zombies or something, but uh, 13th March 1958, exactly the same like before. It feels like I want to vanish from this world. I want to go far away to where there is no one but myself. Today, a senior accused me of taking her stuff and reported to the principal. Uh, no one believed me. They didn't give. They didn't even give me a chance to defend myself. And I would never let myself admit I did things that I really didn't do. And so again, I was getting expelled, doing nothing but or doing nothing now but staying at home with people who don't care a thing about me. I feel empty. March 15th. Um, today is my first day in my new college. I lost count how many times I changed college in this year. Other students were not really friendly with me and when they uh, and when any of them hurt me, I would satisfy myself with pain. Hurting myself with anything around me feels too good to own in this crappy world. Uh, yes, this world sucks. My parents left me since they divorced. My pathetic father drinks all the time. My mother married a rich widower, and she was gone long before I became a teenager. There is no place for me in this world. I'm willing to finish my life at any time. That's not good. March 16th. She came again today apologizing to me. I could see her sincere eyes. She, or her sad watery eyes, told me more than everything she said to me that day. Uh, but how could she expect me to move with her after all of the lonely years I have to get through alone. Okay. How dare she took everything she <laughs> did to me so lightly. I didn't remember when I called her mom. I wouldn't let anything from the past distract my life now. I need a place to be alone. I must go to a place far, far away from the city. March 18th, I stayed in a silent room in a nice motel far away from the city, just the perfect getaway that I needed a at the time. Laying inside a hot bath always relaxed me, but the sound of the water dripping slowly makes me recall the incident. Fresh blood ran on my hand as I started playing with my knife. I heard my door being knocked and echoes from of the how of my name sorry i must had stayed in the bath for hours they that people got worried for me maybe finally there were people who cared about me i saw the motel owner owners broke in rushing into my bathroom the old couple looked at the blood that was running out from my veins and were stunned. Okay. The old man tried to snatch my knife, but he fell off the wet floor. Then his old wife tried the same thing, but she ended up in much more hor er, in a much more horrible way. My knife stabbed right in her left stomach. Okay, apparently she has two stomachs, and she fell right before me. At the last moments of her life, she looked deeply into my eyes without expression and, bre and breathed her last life in no time. This game's English is weird. <laughs> my cold hands were shaking, and they were, and they dropped the knife. After a few seconds of deep silence, the old man screamed hysterically, You killed her, you killed my wife, you murderer, murderer. I was scared. I tried to move my lips and told the old man that I didn't mean to kill her, or mean to kill his wife. But I couldn't. I tried to get out of the bathtub, but then I fell and I hit my head. 
fresh blood quickly wet the bathroom floor. I wanted to get up and talk, but my body wouldn't allow me to. The last thing I saw before I fell into eternal sleep was that the old man hugging his wife, crying like a big baby. Was it love? Was that family? Whatever it was, it ended with me that day here in this motel, in this room, room six. Okay. So you had trouble, killed yourself, killed the owner's wife by accident, then decided to haunt the place and ended up getting two more people killed. So you're a murderer. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, this game was something. I'm not sure what it was. It was definitely something, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you guys want to play it, I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description for you. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have been having a good day... Oh, wait, there's something else. Well, I guess she's going to just... Anyway, if you guys have been having a good day, keep on having a good day. If you guys have been having a bad day, I hope this video made your day just a little bit better. I hope to see all of you guys next time. Until then, stay cool and bye.